Welcome to the Instructor's Guide for the Microsoft HoloLens 2. When wearing the HoloLens, adjust it to your size using the wheel at the back. When getting to know your HoloLens, it is important to know where the on and off button is, the charging port and where to adjust sound. To go to the home menu, simply extend your wrist then press on the white square that appears. Once you are on your home menu, you can use your finger to select applications. Or if you are further away, you can point to the applications to make a laser. To select something with the laser, use your first and second finger to create a pinching motion. To access the home menu using the voice command, simply say Go to start. When you have multiple windows, you can reposition them using a two-hand technique. Pinch both hands at the same time to grab the screen. Then move it around as you wish. Once you are happy with its position, simply let go to leave the screen where it is. If you wish to resize the screen, simply grab it once again and move your hands further apart to make it bigger or closer together to make it smaller. The Microsoft HoloLens allows you to project 3D holograms into your space. You can move the hologram by grabbing either side. You can also resize the hologram by moving your hands either further apart to make it bigger or closer together to make it smaller. You can rotate your hologram using a two-hand technique as shown in the video. Don't forget that your hologram is a 3D structure, therefore feel free to move around it. To open the Remote 365 function, simply open the home page, then select the Remote Assist app. Once you find the blue square, hover over it and press the play button to launch the application. This will take you to a loading screen. The time of loading may depend on your internet speed. Once the application is loaded, you will see a list of all your Microsoft Teams contacts. Select whom you would like to call, then press Launch Call. Once you have launched your call, you can move your window around your space using the same two-hand pinch technique. In Remote 365, you can send and receive attachments. These can also be moved around your space using the same two-hand technique. Should you wish to draw on Microsoft Teams, you can select the ink button on the toolbar, the colour of your choice, and then when you are ready, point and pinch to draw. Hold the pinch to continue drawing. Once you have completed your diagram, simply stop pinching to almost let go of the pen. You can also select arrows using the arrow button in your toolbar. When you are happy with the position of the arrow, pinch and then hold and rotate your hand into the direction you wish the arrow to point. Once you are happy, simply unpinch to drop the arrow there. If you wish to get out of this function, deselect the buttons in the toolbar. And if you wish to end the call, simply select the red button in the bottom right corner of your screen. When closing all your applications, if your window has a toolbar, simply press the X. If it does not have a toolbar, however, such as the Remote 365, 
you will need to go back to the start screen, press the home icon, and then close down any images such as the blue square. Once you have closed your apps, it is safe to switch your HoloLens off. Thank you for watching our video.